Horrors of Colonialism Colonialism, a dark chapter in human history, refers to the practice of acquiring political control over another country, occupying it with settlers, and exploiting it economically. This video delves into the multifaceted horrors of colonialism, exploring its devastating impacts on indigenous populations, cultures, and environments across different regions and eras. The Inception of Colonialism Colonialism began as European powers, driven by a desire for economic gain, territorial expansion, and religious evangelism, embarked on voyages of discovery in the 15th century. The Age of Exploration saw nations like Spain, Portugal, Britain, France, and the Netherlands establishing colonies in the Americas, Africa, and Asia. These endeavors were often justified by a perceived racial and cultural superiority, encapsulated in the notion of the white man's burden, which portrayed colonizers as benevolent bringers of civilization to supposedly backward societies. The Destruction of Indigenous Populations One of the most egregious horrors of colonialism was the systematic destruction of indigenous populations. This often began with the arrival of European explorers and settlers, who brought with them diseases such as smallpox, measles, and influenza. Lacking immunity, indigenous peoples suffered catastrophic mortality rates. In the Americas, it is estimated that diseases introduced by Europeans killed up to 90% of the native population. In addition to disease, indigenous peoples were subjected to violence and warfare. The conquest of the Aztec and Inca empires by Spanish conquistadors involved brutal massacres and the enslavement of survivors. Similarly, in North America, European settlers engaged in relentless campaigns against Native American tribes, resulting in countless deaths and the forced relocation of entire communities. The infamous Trail of Tears, where thousands of Cherokee were forced to march westward, exemplifies the cruelty inflicted upon indigenous populations. Economic Exploitation and Forced Labor Colonial powers were primarily motivated by economic gain, leading to the exploitation of colonized lands and peoples. In the Americas, the establishment of plantations for sugar, tobacco, and cotton cultivation relied heavily on forced labor. The transatlantic slave trade stands as one of the most horrific aspects of colonialism. Millions of Africans were captured, transported across the Atlantic under inhumane conditions, and sold into slavery. The Middle Passage, the journey from Africa to the Americas, was marked by extreme overcrowding, malnutrition, and abuse, resulting in a high mortality rate. In Africa and Asia, colonial powers imposed exploitative economic systems designed to benefit the colonizers. In the Congo Free State, under the rule of King Leopold II of Belgium, the extraction of rubber was carried out through a regime of terror. Indigenous people were forced to meet rubber quotas under threat of violence. Those who failed to meet these quotas faced brutal punishment, including mutilation and death. Similar exploitative practices were seen in British India, where the colonial administration imposed high taxes and monopolized resources, leading to widespread poverty and famine. Cultural Suppression and Erasure Colonialism also entailed the systematic suppression and erasure of indigenous cultures. Colonizers imposed their languages, religions, and cultural practices on subjugated populations. In many cases, this cultural imperialism was enforced through education systems that sought to indoctrinate indigenous children with colonial values. The residential school system in Canada and the United States, where indigenous children were forcibly removed from their families and communities to be educated in Euro-American ways, is a stark example of this practice. These schools aimed to strip children of their native identities, languages, and traditions, causing long-lasting psychological and cultural damage. Religious conversion was another tool of cultural suppression. Missionaries often accompanied colonial expeditions, seeking to convert indigenous populations to Christianity. This process involved the destruction of indigenous religious practices and institutions. Temples, shrines, and other cultural artifacts were often destroyed or repurposed for colonial use. In Latin America, the Catholic Church played a significant role in the cultural transformation of indigenous societies, with native religions being outlawed and practitioners persecuted. 
Environmental degradation. Colonial exploitation extended to the environment, with devastating consequences for the natural world. Colonizers extracted vast quantities of natural resources, often with little regard for environmental sustainability. Deforestation, mining, and the introduction of non-native species disrupted local ecosystems and caused long-term ecological damage. In the Caribbean, the establishment of sugar plantations led to widespread deforestation as vast tracts of land were cleared for cultivation. This not only destroyed natural habitats but also contributed to soil erosion and loss of biodiversity. Similarly, in Africa, colonial powers exploited mineral resources, leading to environmental degradation and pollution. The legacy of these practices continues to affect many former colonies, where environmental challenges persist due to historical exploitation. If you found value in this video please give it a thumbs up, like and subscribe to support this channel. Please share across social media platforms to reach a wider audience. Resistance and struggle for independence. Despite the overwhelming power of colonial regimes, indigenous populations resisted colonization in various ways. Resistance took many forms, from armed uprisings and guerrilla warfare to passive resistance and cultural preservation. These struggles for independence were often met with brutal repression by colonial authorities. In the Caribbean, slave revolts such as the Haitian Revolution demonstrated the determination of enslaved people to fight for their freedom. The successful revolt in Haiti not only ended slavery but also led to the establishment of the first black republic in the Western Hemisphere. Similarly, in India, the struggle for independence from British rule involved a combination of non-violent resistance led by figures like Mahatma Gandhi and armed rebellion by various revolutionary groups. In Africa, the Mau Mau uprising in Kenya and the Algerian War of Independence are notable examples of armed resistance against colonial rule. These conflicts were characterized by extreme violence and human rights abuses on both sides. The eventual success of independence movements across Asia and Africa in the mid-20th century marked the end of formal colonialism, but the legacy of colonial exploitation and oppression continues to affect these regions. The Psychological Impact of Colonialism The psychological impact of colonialism on both the colonized and the colonizers cannot be underestimated. For the colonized, the experience of subjugation, cultural erasure, and violence left deep scars. The loss of cultural identity, the trauma of displacement, and the internalization of racial inferiority had profound effects on individuals and communities. These psychological wounds often manifested in various forms of social and mental health issues, including depression, anxiety, and intergenerational trauma. For the colonizers, the experience of exerting power over others and justifying exploitation and violence also had psychological consequences. The dehumanization of indigenous peoples and the normalization of racial superiority contributed to a mindset that perpetuated racism and inequality. The moral contradictions inherent in the colonial project often led to cognitive dissonance and ethical dilemmas for those involved in its implementation. Modern-day Legacies of Colonialism The legacies of colonialism continue to shape the modern world in numerous ways. Former colonies often struggle with economic challenges, political instability, and social inequalities rooted in their colonial past. The arbitrary borders drawn by colonial powers have contributed to ongoing conflicts and tensions in many regions. For example, the partition of India and Pakistan by the British in 1947 led to mass displacement, violence, and an enduring conflict over Kashmir. Economic dependency on former colonial powers persists in many parts of the world, as the structures of global trade and finance established during the colonial era continue to favor developed nations. Former colonies often face challenges in achieving sustainable development and economic self-sufficiency due to the exploitation and resource extraction that characterized their colonial histories. Cultural legacies of colonialism are also evident in the ongoing struggles for indigenous rights and the preservation of cultural heritage. Efforts to reclaim and revitalize indigenous languages, traditions, and land are part of a broader movement to address historical injustices and promote cultural resilience. 
The Role of Education and Awareness Addressing the horrors of colonialism requires education and awareness. Acknowledging the brutal realities of colonial history is essential for fostering understanding and reconciliation. This involves revising history curricula to include diverse perspectives and narratives, particularly those of indigenous peoples and formerly colonized communities. Promoting awareness of the ongoing impacts of colonialism can also inform contemporary efforts to address social and economic inequalities. Recognizing the historical roots of issues such as poverty, discrimination, and environmental degradation can guide policies and initiatives aimed at creating a more just and equitable world. The horrors of colonialism are a testament to the capacity for human cruelty and the enduring impacts of exploitation and oppression. From the decimation of indigenous populations and cultures to the environmental degradation and psychological trauma inflicted by colonial powers, the legacy of colonialism continues to shape the modern world. Understanding and acknowledging this history is crucial for addressing its lasting effects and working towards a future that values justice, equality, and human dignity. In reflecting on the horrors of colonialism, it is important to remember the resilience and resistance of those who endured and fought against it. Their stories of courage and defiance are a testament to the human spirit's capacity to overcome oppression and strive for a better world. By learning from the past, we can build a more just and equitable future for all. If you enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up, like and subscribe to our channel for more self-improvement videos. Comment below to tell us how useful you found this video. Remember to share on various social media platforms to reach a wider audience. Click the notification bell to get notified anytime we post a new video. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.